This is the summer encampment for the travelling people. It was built three, three years ago under the instruction of Essie Stewart and it's built in the Sutherland style and um, she had been using canvas right up to 1960s with her family. Travellers were um, very important in Highland culture in early years before radio and before uh, newspapers. The travellers would bring the news round with them. People were anxious to, to see the travellers coming into their, their locality so they could pick up on what was happening around the rest of the country. The travellers also helped out on farms and bigger crofts where extra hands were needed at um, berry picking and harvesting. The camps would be set up usually beside running water and very often beside railway where in the early days um, of steam uh, the engine drivers would throw out some coal for the travellers to use on their fires. Yeah, that's the stuff that we made by Holland, the Holland. Yeah. That's the spoons, that's the close the eggs. Then I've seen them made a million times. That was the scrubbers they made. They only made them when they were kind of short of money and they didn't have nothing else, you know, that, that they'd sent for to sell. They'd make these to get by for a few days, you know, and they, they sold them. They did manage to sell them, you know. Well, my mother hawked, she sold it round the doors with a basket and my father made tin. But then when plastic appeared in the scene, that was the end of that, so they had to change, you know. And uh, my father just did it. We got, we got rid of the horse and cart and he had a, had a, 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 a pickup, a lorry or something, and he would collect scrap and do that. I mean, a lot of people have to adapt, but I think travellers more so than anyone else, you know. When you started a new school, it was hard life for travellers, young traveller children, you know, because children can be very cruel, you know, I mean, unintentionally, just to do it, to think you're different. So most of the schools we went to, we had to fight in the morning until we got away home at night. And it was a constant battle, you know, and uh, we didn't enjoy it. We definitely didn't enjoy any school times. So on odd occasion you'd go to school where it was great, then you'd go to another school and there was bullies in it and you had to fight with them, you know. And we didn't enjoy it. It's completely different today. I mean, all my grandchildren go to school and they have great friends in school. It's different, completely different from what it was when we were young, you know. A very, very family oriented life, you know. And uh, there was hard times as well, of course, you know, but it was mostly, uh, you, you don't remember the hard times, you remember the good times, you know. And we, when we used to go out in the summer, it was, it was great. I mean, it was absolutely taboo for an animal to come near a dish or anything you had and a uh, separate thing for washing. Now, they would never wash their hands in the same basin where they would wash dishes or something, you know. It was just, it was unthinkable, you know. And is that quite a strong part of the culture? Well, a very strong part of the culture, right? Eh? Yeah. Quite a lot of stuff like that, you know. When women had babies, they didn't, they didn't they, they slept in separate beds for about six weeks or something. They didn't sleep in the same bed as Stuff like that, you know. I'm Catherine Townsley McWiggin. Um, I'm here to make some flowers. I'm from the Gypsy Traveller community. Um, I've made these flowers since I was about six years old. I've made all the paper flowers with my mother, um, wooden ones with my father, and various other clothes pegs, pot scourers, just arts and crafts of travellers. I'm just going to do the cutting for the rose. So it's one that way and one round that way. I'm going down on my knee. I prefer to put it on the soft area of my knee. Just a normal knife and just, if your knife's soft, use the back of the knife and curl in towards yourself. And then two fingers, thumb, and just slowly wrap round, and you should see your rose coming into shape. Now, just 
complete. One side pinched and just pinch the other sides in to get this sort of shape. And then wire, keep the pin in your hand, thumb, finger, and just pull. And then again, it's just an overcross and just put it together. Until you get it really tight and that's you. And then you have one flower.